Which companies can then benefit from using freemium? As mentioned before, there's a lot of companies who have had great success using the freemium business model to generate profits and raise customer satisfaction. Yeah, it's not a silver bullet. It doesn't work for everybody. And for some businesses, freemium would be completely wrong. For this reason, I'd like to go up in into some of the indicators of freemium potential. In this video, I'd like to talk about, first of all, what I call the freemium premiums. After that, two uh, specific indicators of potential. And lastly, talk a bit about some examples. First of all, the freemium premise, which is that you need a quality free product that can be duplicated digitally. Freemium is the idea of having a very large user group of a free product in order to sell premium products to a few percent of these. In order to gain the large user group in the first place, you need a quality product that people actually want. In order for it to make financial sense, you need to be able to distribute your product to this large user group at very low cost. This is possible with digital production. Once I have a computer program or a book on PDF or a music number on an MP3 file, the cost of duplicating this into hundreds of thousands or even millions is very low. And this makes it possible to uh, generate enough revenue from the complementary products. Yet, it also means that in order to, for freemium to make sense, you need the free product to be able to duplicate it digitally. Two main indicators of freemium potential, which are possible reach of the free product and profitability of the premium product. 5% is not an unusual conversion rate in a freemium model. And it means that if I have 100,000 free users, only 5% of those are paying for something. If the number of free users is raised to 200,000, the number of paying customers is increased to 10,000, if the conversion rate stays the same. For this reason, the profitability becomes much larger the larger my free user base is. And for that reason, one of the main indicators of freemium potential is how big a free user base can you get from premium products. It's the second big indicator of freemium potential. Because those revenue have to subsidize the whole company, including the free offer, they have to be as large as possible. And if there's a possibility of converting a lot of the free users to paying users, or the possibility of having products with a very high markup, then that indicates freemium potential. Based on the freemium premise and the two indicators mentioned, it's possible to make both initial and more thorough evaluations of the freemium potential for a specific business. This can be illustrated through a few examples. First of all, Skype, which is a great example of a freemium model, but also a great example of the inherent freemium potential within the industry. They follow the freemium premise by having a quality product that can be digitally duplicated. They score well on the two indicators for potential. There's a large potential for, for reach because of the global demand for free calls. There's a large possibility for revenue because of the global demand for cheap calls, which can be fulfilled through the service Skype out. In the other end of the spectrum, the local photographer has very little potential for using the freemium model. While he follows the freemium premise, he can take great photographs that can be duplicated digitally. He scores very low on the two indicators of success. The possible reach of one photograph is not very large. At the same time, it's very hard to convert the reach and the attention from the free users into possible revenue. So there's no complementary products that he can sell and it's very hard to convert the free users. In a similar way to this, you can take a look at your own business, seeing, do I follow the freemium premise? Do I have a quality free product that can be duplicated digitally? Or can I get one? Afterwards, taking a look at how well your business falls into the two indicators of success. How big a possible reach can this product have? And how big are the possible revenues from premium products? Hopefully, this can be an inspiration for you to look into whether freemium can be right for just your business.